Fromage fry. It's another balaclava job. Have a look. 85 pence, 375 grams. Wow. And it is a Morrison Savers strawberry swell cheesecake, 375 grams, vegetarian, frozen, um, and it's got two reds, an amber, and a green for the traffic lights. Now, right, on the back, we have got wheat, milk, milk, egg, wheat, milk, milk, egg, listed as allergens. We have got 329 calories per 100 grams. Now, like I said, I paid 85 pence for this, but this has been in my freezer for quite a long while. I, I reviewed a Miss Molly's, a Tesco's Miss Molly's, a while back, and it weren't that much longer after I've done that review. I saw this in Morrison's, and I thought, ooh, I'm going to do this one, see if it's the same, basically. Um, now, I think, off the top of my head, the Miss Molly's one was 80 pence. And I know this was just, I think it was 5 pence more. I know it was slightly more. So I think I paid 85 pence for this. Now, I've been on Morrison's website today. It's not on there now. I mean, at the time of filming, this is November. This is middle of November. I think that's about the 17th, 18th. 18th today, I think it is. It's the 18th of November. Um, and at the time of filming, this is not for sale. So whether they've stopped doing it, I don't know. Or whether they just temporarily stopped doing it, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, that's online. It might be, you know, it might still be available in store. So I thought I'll go back on Tesco's to see if the Miss Molly cheesecake is still the same price and they've actually raised that to 85 pence. So, but even so, I mean, 85p for a nylon full-size cheesecake. That is balaclava territory, that is. Look at it. Now, from what I can remember, the Miss Molly one, the base was quite thin. There weren't a huge amount of base to it. And this looks similar. It looks pretty much the same thing to me. Right, here we go. Um, I think I'll cut it in half. See if we can get a good cross-sectional. <clears throat> Let's do... Cool. Should I cut? More oh, cut on the end. Oh, I guess hard. Oh, I mean, is it still frozen? Shouldn't be. Right, let's put that to one side. So, have a look at that. Whoa, what 
much out. We don't want it slipping and sliding. As you can see, that ain't bad. Right, let's try it. Cool. That's good. Now, I don't know. I mean, this base is really good. I don't know if that's the cook. No, I don't taste cold, so I don't think it is frozen, but that's really quite hard. It's really a really good consistency. That is really good. Look at it, look. That base tastes as good as that look. I'm impressed with this. Right, now the actual cheesecake itself, that tastes, from what I can remember, very similar to the Miss Molly one. But from what I can remember, the Miss Molly one, base wise, I was, I wasn't disappointed. How can you be disappointed when you're only paying 80, 85 pence? You can't be. But I do remember sort of drawing attention to the fact that there weren't much to the base. And I do not remember it being as good as this. So the base for this is is better. Um, I don't think it's much much thicker. It's just it seems really compact. Like it's really compact, and it's even got a bit of chew to it. It's really nice. So I'm going to score this higher than the Miss Molly one. Um, now I scored, I believe, the Miss Molly one a nine. So they're virtually the same price. Hopefully this is still available. I mean, I really do hope this is still available. If it is, get in the comments. Let me know, guys. Have you seen this in your local Morrisons? By the time this video go out, it may be relisted online. Or, you know, just, yeah. And if... if um. I'll keep an eye out for it and uh, see if that they have got it back in. I don't see why they wouldn't. But yeah, that is absolute brilliant product. So I'm going to score this a 9.2. I'm going to give it a 0 0.2 more than the Miss Molly one because that base is way better than I was expecting. Way better. 9.2 yeah that is a brilliant i mean crikey 85p for a cheesecake that's ridiculous like i said should have been wearing me balaclava when we were leaving the shop hey bull bull huh right there we are guys that is another suffin sweet with a nice cup of coffee cider <laughs> food review thanks for watching and i hope You'll join me and I'll booba with the custard kid again soon on another video. Take care, guys. All right, here we go. We've got a question coming up. What is it? Oh, yeah, that's another interesting question coming up, boo boo. Right, there we are, brother Bob. Oh, right, 
Hang on. Need... Hang on. You need three, boo boo. There we are, my man. And get out of the way. Good lad. Get out of the way. That's it, my man. That's it. Just let this thing fly off. Boo boo. Quick, get down then. God, my he was lucky. Right, so that thing's now heading off around the world. When it comes back, it's going to land on the answer to this question. Which is, and this is from, I've got this information from a website called momsbakingco.com. Momsbakingco.com. It is believed that athletes were served cheesecake at the first Olympic Games. Apparently they believed it gave, gave them energy, so they actually were eating it. A bit like how tennis players, well, if they do it now, but they used to eat bananas in between games and sets and that. So they fed them cheesecake, as they believed it gave them extra energy. So it is it is believed that athletes were, were served cheesecake at the first Olympic Games. This is the, the original Olympic Games, not the modern Olympic Games. And the question is, in which year was the first Olympic Games? Was it A, 776 BC, B, 576 BC, BC or C 376 BC. Wow, that is a long time ago. Right, if you knew the answer to that, well done. Blimey, that's impressive. Yeah, get in the comments, let me know. Excuse me. Right, guys, there we go. Catch on another video. Bonjour.